Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to sync your samples to your project tempo in FL Studio. This is great if you use samples, if you use any audio clips or anything like that, this is really gonna help you out. Now, there are other ways to do this, but those other ways take way longer. This is gonna be a really, really straightforward, quick way to do this. And this way that I'm gonna show you is always 100% right, okay? The other ways that you can use is ways that I've used before, like time stretching and all that sort of stuff. And with those, you have a margin of error, you can mess it up, you can get it wrong, and you can have a sample that then is off sync halfway through the sample. So make sure you use this method, it's gonna help you out a bunch. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel. You will love it here. Let's get straight into this and let's do this really, really quickly. So first of all, I have set this up with one of my loops from my R&B Trap Secrets pack. And I'm just gonna show you that I've already done this and that it works, and then I'm gonna bring in another loop and show you how it's done. So let's listen back to this four bar loop. Now this was originally 166 BPM, and as you can hear, it's a perfect loop and it works perfectly. So now it's at 130 BPM, okay? Very, very straightforward. Now let's bring in another loop. Let's bring in another loop that's probably, you know, super high, like 170 BPM. Because these are the ones that will be super annoying to actually sync up. So let's listen to this. Something like this will be really, really hard to sync up because the transients are really, really hard to actually see because it's very ambient. So here, what we'll do is we'll detect the tempo, which will detect the right tempo because I've embedded my tempo in all my loops from my R&B Trap Secrets pack. Let's come out here, R&B Trap Loop Secrets. You can grab that. There'll be a link in the description down below if you want to get that. So we'll click it at 170. We won't set the project tempo to this value because we want to set the sync the sample to the project tempo. Then we'll just go to fit tempo, okay? So we'll click 170 again, so it knows what tempo it is and how it's gonna fit to the new tempo. And then let's play this back. And there you go, it's perfectly looped. And another thing is change the mode to auto if you don't want the pitch to change while you're changing the sample. I've already got a video on this, but I thought I might as well give you that info here. And the way to actually check throughout the rest of your beat is to just keep on looping four bar loops and go around the rest of your beat to check that everything's actually in time. So let's do this and we'll listen back. But honestly, this one's so hard to hear the transients, it'll be better to try this other loop. As you can hear, perfect loop every time. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward. Like before this, I was using the time knob, I was using stretch, which if you use shift and M, you can use that as well. And I was using all sorts of stuff, but now all I know is detect tempo, fit to tempo, beautiful, straightforward, keep you moving, save you time. I hope this video has helped you out. And I do have a question of the day for you. My question of the day is, how often do you use samples when you're making beats? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you do want some free loops, there are there is a link in the description to grab those free loops. But I do wanna let you know about my R&B trap template, which basically, if you get this R&B trap template, it is linked in the description. Your beats will be half mixed when you when you basically use this template. So all you'll need to do is set some levels on like the channel rack and that sort of stuff, basically. And you've got all my mixing settings, all my EQs, all my 
effects basically which isn't many effects except for reverb and yeah eq and then on master track i use ozone but i've got a stock version and a version with all the the plugins that i actually use remember link is in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash rnb trap fl and that'll take you to the template grab that it will save you a bunch of time when it comes to mixing and mastering your beats i use this template for every beat that i make and if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below i am happy to help out all things music and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out